All right, since I've been cutting back on the collecting, it makes it for when you do see figures that you want to add to your collection, you really look forward to it, like this Clayface. This is like when McFarlane said he's going to take over the DC license. I was like, God, like, how can this go? Like, is it going to be weird? All seven inch figures. I'm like downsizing my collection right now, especially the DC stuff. I'm trying to keep like one of each character. If it's a character that I really like, like Clayface, I'll like try to limit it down to like two or three of those characters. So while I'm putting that collection together, I have all of the DC Multiverse. I have all the DC Direct. I'm basically just shuffling through, picking my favorite version of that character and adding them to the collection. I don't really know which line it came from. I am trying to do like a six inch scale. So it's really good because if it's a bigger character, you can pick one out of the seven inch scale. If it's a smaller character, you can pick one out of the six inch scale. A figure like Clayface, this thing's gonna work perfect in my six inch scale. When he did this, when he showed this, I was like, damn, that that looks amazing. Like, this is the shit that I've been wanting him to do forever. Like, he did the Swamp Thing. I thought he killed it on that. Now they did the clay face. That man bat's coming out. They also had that Monster Joker sitting there. I already have the DC Direct Monster Joker. Maybe I'll go ahead and pull that out, too, at the end of the video. The DC Direct one is amazing. He's got, like, the bones coming out of his ribs. The McFarlane one, man, the McFarlane one looked like shit. Like, I wasn't going to get it anyways. I'm actually probably going to sell the one that I have just because I'm trying to get rid of all my DC video game stuff. Like, I don't get why he's redoing characters that have already been done, especially when he can't do them as good as they were the first time. When you do something like this, nobody's ever did this version of Clayface. This thing looks amazing. I'm really excited to get this thing on the shelf. It definitely has its flaws, but it's clay face and it, it's a must purchase. Let's check this shit out. It's not the first time I've seen the side of you. I'm through and now you're walking on. start off with this monster joker from arkham asylum the video game this is the dc direct one this thing is amazing you can see how tall he is the mcfarland one isn't quite this big i looked at it and it was just not good at all do you see the rips in the flesh these are all sculpted in those were just like red paint smears on on the mcfarland one the bones coming out of the ribs he didn't have that either the bones coming out of the knees, he didn't have that either. It wasn't anything like this at all. Like, this is a really good action figure. It's just I'm just trying to cut back and, like, I, I don't need the video game stuff. So if you want him, he's probably going to end up on Macari eventually. I have been doing fairly well on that, hustling my DC figures. Let's go ahead and get him out of the way and start checking out some of these clay faces. This is the animated clay face. This was really cool. They give you um, the extra the extra head and the extra hand accessories so you can put the fists on there. With a clay face action figure, this should be mandatory. Why he didn't do it on this? Who knows? Maybe he's going to do it on the next version. But you got this one here. I love the color of this. Um, it definitely looks like a clay instead of like a mud, like he's clay face, not mud face. So I like the clay color of this way better. Just an amazing action figure. I know he's like really hard to come by right now, but God, he looks good in your DC animated collection. I know that I don't learn normally like to mix a, you know, animated with normal, but that was the case. This is just an old clay face. I got this from my kid when he was like four. It's been sitting in his drawer forever. I just can't give it away because it's clay face. So I'll uh, probably put this thing back in his drawer just a cool little toy this is like the cyborg clay face i think like the old kenner one this one is actually on macari right now i did sell my um my um my clay face for the movie on macari and i had two of these old mattel ones over here i actually got rid of one of those because i definitely didn't need two but this one i don't know i never really dug it too much it's a cool looking figure it's not worth a whole lot of money the face turns around, you have different faces there. 
Uh, it's got all these wires and shit on it. Um, oh, it actually has a wheel on the back for you can turn the face, which I don't know why you need that because you could just turn it like that. But then there's that clay face. I went ahead and pulled out the swamp thing just for a size comparison. This is the variant with the horn head. So who knows, maybe he'll do another clay face. I could see him totally doing that. There's no way that he's just going to make one and done. Like he loves his repaints and reissues and all that stuff. So if he's going to do that, hopefully they make us one with different hands. Um, I don't need two of them. I'll probably just get sell this one and get that one. But hopefully he does some kind of weapon hand accessory on this. Over here you have the collect and connect. The Four Horsemen Clayface Build-A-Figure. This is truly an amazing toy. One of the best toys in my whole entire collection. The articulation works on it really well. It is kind of like a cheap hollow plastic, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. It it, it stands nice. It works well. The, articula the articulation works well. There's no pins on the ar articulation. They were doing this back before anybody was doing this. And for some reason, nobody had shown any love and they went out of business, which sucks because I think the Mattel DC figures were some of the best ever made. They were supposed to have different hand options for him. And then the figures that the hands came with got canceled. So that never happened. But he's definitely a clay face I can't get rid of. I'll have him in my collection forever. Then over here, you have another one. This one came in like a two pack with Batman. This thing... It just, it looks just like, I love it. It looks just like Clayface. I also have to keep this one. The arms are like a squishy rubber with wire in them. And then you can still like move them around and bend them with the wire. Really cool touch. People don't really do cool shit like that anymore. They just kind of go with the basics. Although Todd is trying to do some new shit with his, but it's just not really working out for him all the time. But then you have this old Mattel one. Definitely digging this. Another figure that I have to keep in my collection so as far as Clayface goes, I'm going to keep these three in my collection. And then I should be good on Clayface for a while. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the star of the show. The hands are really big on him. You can put a, an action figure in his hand. He actually grips them fairly well. I got like an old six-inch um, Batman Mattel figure, which these are the ones that I'm keeping. I'm getting rid of all my seven-inch Batman figures. Just don't really feel like I need that. The articulation on this thing, I heated it up. It didn't work very well. It still doesn't work very well. I don't know why he's trying to get so fancy with things. Um, he went ahead and went with the rubber diaper again, which doesn't, I don't know. See, here's a problem. Like when you stand him up like this, you got the gap here. And then it, this is also rubber, but there's not enough rubber it's like if you could pull this thing down, but it doesn't come down to cover this gap. I would be totally cool with this rubber thing here, but it doesn't work. And it also makes me wonder, like, longevity of this rubber. Like, say, 20 years from now, what's this shit going to look like? Because, you know, it's... Of course you want to have the collection, the, this action figure in collection forever. I'm not digging that. Like, I don't know why he has to reinvent the wheel. Like, over here... There's no rubber bullshit. The action figure works amazing, looks good, does everything right. I know that he's trying to do something different. I don't know if this is a cheaper and he's just trying to like make something work. The rest of the articulation goes, the, the, the legs move okay. The knee has that single knee with the pin. The, the joints in here, how the ratchet joints are so stiff that it barely moves. I don't see why they need to do that. Got these big flat feet on them. So you think that it would stand really good. But if you have it crouched over forward a little bit, since it's top heavy, he'll fall every time. So you got to stretch him out. And when you do stretch him out, you get that diaper thing there. And that's that sucks, dude. Like, cause it's an action figure. It looks it looks amazing. It's something I really wanted. But then he drops a ball into stupid shit like that. And you want this to be like the best action figure of 2022. And because of this, you just can't. The jaw is articulated. I love how he did that. The head moves a little bit, arms come down. He got single jointed on the elbow, which I normally, that, that's always good for me. The hand on it before it breaks off, I'm just gonna let you know that it breaks off. You, I can't get this joint to work at all. I could barely get these to work. I heated them up and they still didn't work very good. If you try to like bend it, see that 
the, the, like you pop it and the ratchet is so hard in there that the hand pops off and you can put it back in there but it doesn't really click in like it locked in but it doesn't really click in hard which makes me hope and pray that he's going to do like accessory hands i do like the big hands you can actually hold action figures in them as far as all the detail on this you see all the faces and hands he could a little did a little bit more with the paint um just to bring out some of the detail like that hand is there is cool the faces are cool it's really a cool clay face the articulation sucks dude i i, I mean i want to just say it's just completely amazing like it feels like it's gonna fall apart like that thing's real rattly I don't know man on your shelf it's gonna look amazing just let me try to get him in a decent pose to worry he doesn't look like shit i love that four horsemen one so there he is and on the artwork i guess their photographer i'd love to talk shit about todd's photographer because my boy ty used to be the photographer but this is his work and I have to, I have to give, I have to give him props, man. Like, dude, just taking his pictures. This is amazing. I love how he's like sitting in the sewer, like in the water. He's got the green light. He lit up the eyes, even though the eyes don't light up. I, I'll, I'll give him a pass. That is amazing. So the, the kid that's taking his pictures is definitely figuring out. This is back when I used to buy books. This is like Clayface is always one of my favorite villains. So I bought this book, but you can see where this was inspired, like with the green glow, like this figure also has the green glow. And this is like, this clay face is real similar to this one. I don't know if this is kind of where Todd got the look of it, but I, I love this. Like the kid's actually figuring it out. There's the clay face. I think we covered everything. Um, let's go, Brandon.